Hey guys, so welcome to day four of Operation Get Fun. So I wasn't able to make it to my um, early morning class because I had to get to work early. So um, this is me driving and trying to get to work. And guys, guess what? Another train. Another train getting in the way of your girl. I'm just trying to be great. I'm just trying to be great. And here is Brightline getting in my way of greatness. Choo choo, bright line. Choo choo. Let's go. Let's, let's get it. Let's get it. So, um, wasn't able to eat breakfast at home, so I ate it at my desk. Went to just salad today. I got a spicy chicken salad. But instead of chicken, I added a spicy tofu, which was really actually good. Um, this is me at the gym in the mirror. Here's another progress video. Um, <laughs> Operation Foint. <laughs> Operation K4 is, is in full effect. So this is, are the workouts that he had, um, in store for us today. And these are lateral presses. Um, had to do 15 of those and then three rounds, um, within three rounds of the lateral presses, um, along with other activities within 13 minutes. That was like the first stack. All right, and this, um, we have to slam the ball. Um, these are 15 pound balls, and, um, he was just like, pretend it's an ex-boyfriend. And you know, um, I found the courage to slam the ball really hard. Um, this guy's inter interrupting you, girl. Um, but this was fun. It was, um, not as easy as I thought that it would be, but, um, this was not, not too bad. Y'all see the muscle coming in? Y'all see the muscle in the back? Y'all see the muscle coming in? I know it's only been four days, but the muscles are coming. They coming, okay? I see it. I see it for me, and I and I love it. I love it for me. Um, These are, I believe, rows. Mm, don't, again, don't let me lie on the man. I believe it's a row something. No idea, but I know they told me to, to row. Um, So that's what I was doing. Here. Okay, girl. You better get it. You, you, you better. So I started off with five pounds and that was like too light. So the guy made me, he made me switch up. He made me switch up. Again, I forgot to turn on my Apple Watch on time. Um, heading home so I can prepare for tomorrow and um get my day started to have an early day tomorrow as well and of course i have to end um this story with um finishing joshua 2 so in joshua 2 um joshua he's now in charge and he has to take the people into the promised land um but before he takes the land he sends two spies to see where would be the best place to attack um, so the spies enter Jericho, and the king gets word that, yo, there are ops in his kingdom. So when he gets word that, you know, that these spies might be at Rahab's house, um, and for those who don't know, Rahab is a lady of the night. If you, if you know what I mean, um, Rahab been, been around the block a few times, okay? Um, so the king's guards come to Rahab's house, and they're like, Yo, we hear that you're hiding ops in your in your house. And she, you know, Rahab is smart, okay? Um, Rahab says, yo, they've been here, but they're no longer here. Go and check, you know, the city walls and maybe, maybe they're there. Um, so she, you know, throws the guards off and, um, we know when they're out of sight and gone, she goes up to her roof where the two spies are hiding. Um... So the coast is clear, and she tells them, yo, listen, the block is hot right now, so I suggest you, you guys, stay the night and don't leave in the morning. Um, and, you know, the the spies are so thankful uh, for of Rahab and the work that she's done to, you know, help save save their lives, because I'm sure if King Jericho, the king of Jericho found them, they would have been, uh, they would have been dinner, dinner, they would have been dinner, okay? Um, so Rahab says, look, I know you and your boys are about to take over the land. Do me a solid and save me and my family. Um, and the spy says, yo, bet, we got you. You know, put a, put a red cord in the window so that we know 
so that we know not to attack your house. And Rahab says, I'll do that, but make sure you keep your word. And they said, listen, they take an oath. They say, Rahab, we got you, boo. We got you. Um, and they said, but listen, but if you don't put the cord on, um, in the window, sis, we not, you know, your, your blood and the blood of your family is not, not our problem, not our responsibility. Um, so, um, so that's pretty much the story. But, um, one of the beautiful things, um, that, that happened or that I recognize is that here is Rehab, who is a prostitute who, you know, people look down on, who, um, you know, you know, no one, no one wants to be associated, during that time, no one wants to be associated with a known prostitute. Um, and here she is, um, helping save God's people. And in, in, in this story as well, um, she, you know, saves her family. Um, just another example of how God will use anyone in any position. So, um, that is Joshua 2. Um, if you're interested, go ahead and, um, ask any questions or, um, you know, dive into the word yourself. I hope you guys have a good night. Um, Operation Get Fine is in, is in, um, is in effect and, um, love you guys and I hope you guys have a great night. Alright, y'all, that's it. That's, that's it. Story time is, is over. Um, yeah, good night.